A New Mexico woman helped create change at the golf club that holds the Masters, one of the major championships. It wraps up tomorrow. Martha Burke sparked controversy 20 years ago when she fought for women's equality at the club. She's lived in our state since 2006, and Lauren Green met with her on a New Mexico fairway to discuss how she became such an influential activist. We always used to say, in our lifetime, mm -hmm. in our lifetime. Change in a lifetime. It's something Martha Burke sparked nearly 20 years ago against the private Augusta National Golf Club, where the Masters are hosted. Change. It's what prompted Burke to send a letter to the former club's chairman, Hootie Johnson. It was a very important letter. It was a private letter. I did not intend to start a national media firestorm of golf. A letter sparked from confusion in a meeting as Burke sat as the chair of the National Council of Women's Organizations in 2002. I didn't know anything about Augusta National. I asked my board very casually. We were just packing up to go. End of a board meeting, I said, oh, I heard about this golf club that doesn't let in women. They're pretty prominent. Why don't we write them a letter? And everybody said, fine, write them a letter. No, no big deal. Johnson was not a fan of Burke's letter, which called for timely change with a deadline. They went ballistic. Johnson responded in a public statement saying, we will not be bullied, threatened, or intimidated. And he went on to say there may well come a day when women will be invited to join our membership, but that timetable will be ours and not at the point of a bayonet. Augusta National dates back to the 1930s, and the first two women were admitted in the club in 2012. Former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice was one of them. And after protesting during the 2003 Masters near the course, Burke started to solidify her legacy even more as an activist. In this battle Burke fought years ago, well, it's a little bigger than what just happens on the golf course. Augusta National is far more than a golf club. It's a meeting place for the CEOs of America's largest corporations. When you discriminate against women anywhere, but certainly at that level, it hurts their careers. Burke's called New Mexico home for years now, and she's still connected to Augusta even 1,500 miles away and two decades later. But she hopes people think of more than just golf when they hear her name. I want to leave at least a foot footprint in the sand of history. It may not last, uh, and I certainly don't want Augusta to be the only thing I am remembered for. And the change she advocated for? It's something the 81-year-old activist is still hoping to accomplish in all aspects. Well, let's hope it's in my lifetime and not your lifetime. <laughs> Reporting in Albuquerque, Lauren Green, KOB4.